take two? <laughs> Yo, I fucked up. Anyways, what's up, motherfuckers? Welcome, welcome back. I, I accidentally uh, <laughs> put myself under the wrong category on stream. <laughs> and then I had the wrong title and everything. I guess I didn't update, but let's go. So I wanted to talk about uh, my first year of streaming as my first episode for Doodles and Thoughts because I thought this was really uh, an interesting experience. Hi, Nico. Oh, fuck. I responded to you and I'm not supposed to talk to you. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so today I want to talk about my first year of streaming. And like uh, a reflection of it. So I started in uh, December. And the first game I played was Sims. And it was really fun. It was so fun. I ended up playing Sims for like 10 hours. That was my first stream. And I built a fucking cool ass house. It was really good. Um, I really enjoyed streaming. I was able to get affiliate as well uh, that month. And I'm really uh, thankful. Uh, I got to meet, like, uh, Jail, which is one of my mods, and, uh, he helped me a lot with, like, breaking out of my shell with streaming, and I kind of wanted to go in with the idea that, like, my first year would probably be the hardest year, and, um, after that, I would see if I'd want to keep streaming from there. Mm -hmm. Um, so... In January, uh, I got to meet a lot of friends, and we played a lot of games, we had a lot of fun. Um, I think I like started getting really addicted to like the concept of making friends on stream, um, playing games with them, doing things together, kind of like um, growing up together in the community, right? And I, I wanted to do so many things. I felt like I kind of ended up uh, overwhelming them a bit. Yeah. Um, like I wanted to do stuff like uh, a sticker shop, um, podcasts with them. But I didn't realize kind of came along with like stress, if that makes sense. Like even though you kind of uh, ask someone to do things with you, it's like kind of like you forget that they might have to be mentally prepare for things or um, real life gets in the way too, right? Yeah, so like uh, kind of like from January, uh, February, March, January to March. <gasps> mm -hmm. Hi Fuego, hi. So from January to March, uh, we played a lot of Apex, right? So like, I played a lot of, um, let me see, let me draw myself really quick. So we played a lot of, uh, Apex, and that's when I learned how to do, like, a what is this with my gun? Pew, pew. <laughs> And my Valk wings. And then, and then a death box. Yeah, so during this time, I, I wanted to do a stationery shop. And then, um, I wanted to do, like, uh, oh my god, my chat, yo. <laughs> Where is it at? Uh, oh no. Hmm. Right there. I don't know how to fix this. Like this. Like there. Like that. Yeah, we did it. Okay, see, I didn't know this came with a lot of stress to people because, like, even though you ask like five people to do things, so one and then me. You don't know like all the stress that it comes with, right? Like, what if this person has their own like how like um like things outside of 
that, right? Or what if they have like a lot of family things going on? Because that kind of ended up happening to me. So um, in February, I found out my grandpa had passed away. And that kind of um, was going on around the same time. Like I was kind of struggling with um, a viewer uh, in chat, actually. Um, I've experienced a, a viewer who kind of tried to make me feel like I was um, doing something wrong. I, I don't know how to word it because it was a very weird situation. Like they were a regular in chat and they were really cool to like talk to and hang, hang out with. But um, they came to a point where they were overstepping boundaries. Because when I wanted to do the stationery shop, I wanted to um, hire people to help me do like advertisements, like helping me with animations and um, helping me with like, um, just bringing the advertising side to life while I did the other labor and stuff. Um, and Essentially, when I had told them my idea, I told them I will send you all the materials. So when I had sent, uh, I'm gonna start drawing too, just so I can like think fully and talk. Um, so when I had told them to wait, they ended up doing my whole project behind my back. So what they did was they, everything I told them that were my ideas, they made my ideas without asking me anything and then they sent it to me and it felt like they kind of just didn't care about it and they were just trying to um they were so excited that they didn't realize that they were overstepping boundaries so i tried to draw boundaries with them and when i tried to draw boundaries uh they had gotten really upset because they had told me that they did it out of the fact of being purely excited and how come I couldn't be happy. Um, at that point, I kind of felt like, was I really like that and grateful for something? But I also felt like that, that shouldn't have been done because it was my ideas so i had asked them like if you had an idea and you told your friend and the next day they gave you your ideas but already made it into what it was how would you feel and they told me that they would get upset but then what they did to me wasn't wrong so um after that i kind of was reevaluating what was happening and then um, I had realized, like, you know, this is wrong. Like, I, I can't be, like, told this because it just doesn't make sense. And then um, from there, I told them and I set the boundaries and I told them it wasn't okay and that I wouldn't, I would have to get back to them about joining the stationery shop. So from there, they got really upset and it kind of like went into them um, pretty much telling me that I was someone that they looked up to and I kind of backstabbed them and they wanted to like talk to me and I told them I'd only be comfortable talking to them if I had a mod with me in the call because I felt like he was going to gaslight me, right? And um, so from there, I was kind of like very, I was very scared at that time because I, I wasn't sure if like I, I fully understood what was happening, right? Because um, I honestly didn't know what coercing was until this year, like last year. So like I, this is how like much little I really understood about it. And um this person ended up coming on stream to ask me to get into a call with them to talk. And during that time, my grandpa had passed away, as I said before. And um, in my culture, funerals last a week. 
and I was in preparations of that during that time and I had a lot going on my grandma wasn't okay we had a lot of things to do and I was telling them on stream that I can talk to you on this day which was three days later and they got really mad that on stream they tried to force me into um getting into call with them that night by getting really really angry like in the my mods weren't he waited until my mods were gone too because the whole time I was streaming and my mods were in chat and we were talking and we're joking around and then the moment my mods one of them said that they were going to go to sleep and the other one was quiet um he then messaged and then started going in and it felt like terrifying like i i really tried to draw the boundaries on stream and it was just very terrifying um at that point i didn't know like really what to do and it made streaming really rough for me because not only am i like dealing with like the first death of my like in my life i've ever experienced but like i also have this going on and yeah it was really rough um, eventually I told them that they made me feel very uncomfortable, um, and I had to, I told them I had to, like, remove them from the community, and, um, yeah, um, after that, they kind of moved on to someone else's community, and I sometimes lurk, and when I lurk, I try to make sure, like, it doesn't happen, because I, I feel like it might be, like, a one-time mistake, right? Because you never know, like, things or anything or, like, how the person felt. Because, like, even during the times that they were, like, really mad at me, they would, like, for example, one time I told them that what they did didn't make me feel okay or safe. And they were like, well, my parents sold my dog the other day. Like, that, that was their response. And I have screenshots of all this, too. Like, I'm not even kidding. I don't want to, like out this person but all my mods have seen all the screenshots and everything and there there were points where he would write me messages like the one where i said he was like he told me i was backstabbing him and then and then he would delete it and then he would write something else like really ugly and then delete it again and the reason why i know is because i would look at it and i wouldn't know how to process the message and i, I wouldn't know how to reply so i just sit there and i just think like am i really like this kind of person and then and then when I look back and try to respond back it's already gone so it's just um it was a really rough couple of months there um also during that time I was going through um uh what do you call it I don't know what to call it um I was really close to someone I enjoyed being- Oh wait, actually also I had another experience on stream where um, I was also scared. Um, so you know how I have the Playdate Redeems and I've mentioned before that what the Playdate Redeems, the reason why I raised it higher was because something had happened. Well, at one point I was just streaming and I used to stream like really long hours every day. And someone came into stream and redeemed the playdate redeem, but they would never really talk in chat. And we played we played Apex, and it was really cool. It was really fun, right? Because I don't mind playing games with anyone. I think playing games with anyone is fun. Um, but then after that, they like kind of redeemed it again, but they've never talked in chat. And then we played again. And then after that time, they had said something that triggered a thought in my head that everything that is happening is premeditated. And it, it really scared me because they said something like after the game, they're like, oh, well, guess what? And then they redeemed the redeem again. And eventually it came to a point where they ended up asking me out to be their girlfriend in chat like they, they straight up they straight up were like dead ask asking me to be to date them on stream um my friend had clipped it um but then my friend deleted it but we had clipped the moment prior to it happening 
and um my response just so you guys know was well i have bad news for you no but we could be best friends that was my response um <laughs> but um the fact that like it was kind of premeditated and how he decided to go about it it scared me because it's someone who has never really interacted with me or talked to me in chat but like they have a plan to do this to try to get me to do something like that so like it that was also going on during that time and then also during that time i had so this is everything i'm talking about happened during january and march just so you know right now um of last year um there was like another person in chat who was like i thought was my friend and then they kind of were like taking over streams or like things or like it's like it felt like i wasn't allowed to talk or they even came into my chat and promoted themselves and asked my followers to sub to them like they that's what they did and it, it made me kind of feel very uncomfortable with like making friends in the stream space right like then it, it gives me the thought like i don't know if someone who i'm talking to genuinely wants to be my friend or if um the person that i'm talking to is only here for the money right because me for streaming i want to strictly keep this as something fun because i want to have fun when i stream and if i don't have fun i, I will not come back <laughs> um but yeah so like for that that's like that and then uh i had a friend who i really like her a lot i think she's amazing they're amazing actually um i think they're very sweet um i really wish stuff didn't happen the way it did but it did and i think um they're just in a bad space and because of the circumstances and things things just kind of fell apart and i understand that if that makes sense i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense but like th there's so many layers and like there's so many like personal things that i don't talk about that has nothing to do with me but essentially it's kind of like during that time um it wasn't good for like a lot of people i think in general um but yeah so after that i took a break and i was thinking and i was like um i was like you know what maybe I should just try streaming again and um because i really like streaming i like entertaining i like having fun i like just being like um a dumb bitch just kidding <laughs> i just like joking around and having fun a lot um but yeah so i was just like you know what like i shouldn't let these things stop me because essentially like people like jail and aaron like my mods um all the fun friends i met like sharky and lonely and toki and everyone who makes like my days like really nice and fun i felt like um i shouldn't let that stop me from uh having fun growing drawing doing all that and stuff so i just uh went and then I, um, I ended up, oh yeah, so that's all that happened in March. Um, just to give you guys a side note, the funeral wasn't a good experience for me. Uh, first family deaths, I don't know if you guys ever had experienced one yet. Um, because my first family death was my grandpa, it was, it was really rough for me because he, uh, helped take care of me when I was little. And he was the first person who taught me um, how to understand someone who can love you so much but like not know how to convey it but convey it in a um, how do you explain it like I always knew my grandpa loved this a lot but he never knew how to say it so he'd do it through like little gestures or there are things that you notice that he does that he doesn't normally do that shows you that he loves you right um, so he was the first person who taught me that and, um, really rough to have him go away. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna cry. I miss him a bit. <laughs> so 
sorry it was my grandma's birthday yesterday so he wasn't there and yeah he taught me how to appreciate those people more and like love them a little more yeah so i really appreciate him for that um so yeah um in april uh oh let me go over here so for april to let's see sorry i'm trying to decide uh oh fuck it's already been 15 minutes sorry let me read the chat my bad uh okay hi zen hi zenny hi fargo hi up to ass hi golden hi drag hi mano hi figgly i hope you're having fun at your barbecue hi jeffaroni jeffaroni give me the 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 formioli <laughs> i'm thinking this right and i'll give the fuck a to the motherfucker <laughs> Uh, kind of like when a couple has an argument, but when to put an umbrella, yeah, yeah, just like that, Fuego. Exactly like that. But my grandpa, he never gets angry. He was always playful with us as kids, and oh my god, he was always like, he would always cry for us during our accomplishments because he'd be so happy. And um, he would always do his best to be there for our accomplishments. And that's how you know, like, he was very happy for us because he wanted to be there for us for our good times uh yeah we had moved away too for like five years and we came back it was really refreshing to see him again um and he like spent a lot of time with us but yeah that's really true for us that's how he was mm -hmm. he was really good and he taught me like how to understand people in that sense because a lot of people like it's hard to understand how people love because everyone's a little different right yeah mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Yeah, it was really sad. Um, and then it's always the rough, that, I think it's always a rough one too, especially when you're close to them. But yeah. Hi Lexo, hi. How are you guys doing this morning? Good morning. Uh, okay, okay. So we're gonna move on to April to, I wanna say, um, June, July, August, September? To September. So, uh, during April through September, oh, I should probably move this down. Wait, fam. Wait. Oh, no. Yo. Okay, right here. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, but... No, I need that. I need that shit too, man. Move it down. Oh god, if we move the whole thing down. Oh. <laughs> we a little goofy, but it's okay. Okay, okay, right here. Um, okay. So, um so so during April to September, I I experienced I experienced new experiences. It was really nice. Um I, so after all that sad stuff, right, um, I got to experience like a lot of new feelings I never, I never felt before. Um, one of the, like, so, um, let's see, I had met someone that I thought was very, really cool, actually. Um, and I, I never thought I would meet a human being like this ever in my life. And... You know how sometimes, like, you think there are people who understand you, but they don't? And then, I don't know if you've ever met someone that you felt like you really um, had connected with, in a sense, right? Um, it felt really nice. Like, I, I personally, my whole life, I never thought I would meet someone like that. And I felt like I did. It felt amazing. It felt refreshing. It was really fun. Um... Uh, let me see what else. How else would I describe it? It was, it was, um, a lot of things I never thought I would get to experience in my life if I, um, prior to meeting the person, if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys get what I mean by that. Um, cause I used to 
Um, so my kind of outlook with people is that sometimes I don't think people see everyone as humans, uh, if that makes sense. And I feel like a lot of people react on emotion and sometimes like we all do but there's there's a lot of people who react a little more uh a little more spicy on their emotions not saying i'm saying <laughs> oh so for those ones i'm just kind of like i don't know about you bam um but yeah so for those ones i'm a little mm, but yeah it was really nice it was really fun um had a lot of laughs um I got to talk to one of my pen pals again. I really love her a lot. Um, I had stopped talking to her because we we had a friend that kind of made us feel like we things were happening when they were. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I wouldn't say that this person was gaslighting us, but they were very um, bad to us. And the reason why I say this is because we both have talked about it and we had agreed. Like we, so we, we finally um, talked, me and her, we finally talked together about the whole situation with the third friend. And we both had felt the same exact feelings we were feeling. And we actually cried a bit together because we thought we were losing each other as friends. But we realized that we both actually like wanted to keep each other as friends and we were both afraid we were losing each other so we were afraid to confront that thing right and I was really glad that she talked to me about it and and after talking to her about it I felt more um happy because when I originally went into 2022 I kind of wanted to go in with the mindset of um, looking through my life through another outlook because I didn't want to let a lot of things that made me sad keep me sad forever. Like, I didn't want to be the same sad person for the rest of my life, right? Like, if I want to move on and be happy, I have to completely move on from the things that are holding me back or I'm still going to reset back to who I was, right? I don't know if that if that makes sense to you guys, but that's how I was thinking in uh, 2022. And then um, this, like whole thing i think it's a really good outlook but through all this i realized like that wasn't working and i didn't let that sink in so when october through november came um my mom had a talk with me and the talk was about like uh or maybe let me rephrase that really quick. Uh, my mom had a talk with me. My mom and I, we don't talk very much. Um, she doesn't know much about me. I don't think she knows that I stream. Well, she knows that I stream, but she doesn't know that I do art like this or like what my other hobbies are aside from maybe my journaling. Um, we don't really have a relationship. Um, that I can unpack another day. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think, um, so like, like a lot of the stuff that I want to do, it doesn't seem feasible as a, what's that word? Feasible as, um, something productive, if that makes sense. Like, uh, part of the reason why I have an office job right now is because of her, um, I'm grateful for it, but also very stressful. <laughs> uh, but then, yeah, so because of that, it's like um, we had a talk about my goals in life and what I'm doing and kind of like uh, I was thinking about what generation difference is, too, because I'm a first year generation in America. Uh, my parents are originally from Asia, so I also have to understand where they're coming from with that concept, too. Um, and it made me really realize that, like, maybe a lot of the things that I try to go in doing, uh, this year, it wasn't exactly 
a hundred. It might have been like 60, 40, but we need like a 90, 10. You know what I'm saying? We, we can't do 60, 40 because 40 will set you back. That's almost 50. You can't 50, 50 that shit, yo. It gotta be 90, 10 so you can delete that 10 and be the, be the 90. <laughs> it's okay to have one struggle, man. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, so from there, I was thinking about like what I wanted to do with my life. The, the outlook I had for 2023, was that really the thing? Oh, sorry. I'm going to read chat really quick. Um, let's see. I aced it. Yo, I forgot what I was talking about when I said that. But yeah, friendship is magic. Um, I think one of the things that makes me happy is seeing like wholesome friendships. Like, oh my god, like the people who have been friends for like 20 years, dude, chef's kiss to you, motherfucker. Like, I just, I appreciate those so much. And I think it's so cute. Um, and I usually see those friendships in guys more, which is kind of funny. <laughs> um, thank you for the head pads. Um, and welcome back, Jiggly. Hope you guys are having fun. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think where I was going from, from there. What was I talking about? Yeah, 20 years is a lot, right? Um, oh yeah, so I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, who I wanted to be. And then, like, right now I live with my parents, right? So... I was thinking, if I want to move out, what kind of person do I want to be? Do I want to keep having this outlook? And if I keep having this outlook, it's going to become a habit. You don't want to create bad habits for yourself or it's not going to help you in the future. Um, so what I decided was I had to speed run a lot of things in order to help myself because I was not in a good headspace. During this time, I was not streaming. During, during October, November, I was um, pretty much just in straight depression in the sense of not, it's not not knowing where I'm going, but not understanding what I could do to be better for myself. And um, sometimes it's hard for you to figure it out. You have to do a lot of self-reflection to understand yourself, to understand how you can help yourself. Because just because you want to do something and get it done, it doesn't mean you can do it right away, if that makes sense. And you also have to understand your capabilities, too. Um, so I went through all that. Um, I was realizing the outlook that I wanted to have for 2022 wasn't that great because I wasn't... I was turning a blind eye and pretending like everything in the past didn't exist when it does. That's what it kind of ended up feeling like with trying to look through another lens and moving on. It's like you had dropped everything and then just try to move forward without really fully coping. So I spent this whole month of October and November figuring out what I wanted to do. Um, who I wanted to be, how can I be the person I want to be, and how could I better myself as a person. So I decided for the whole month of December, I would create habits and um, for myself and be very consistent. So the habit I created was gym. Habit I created was um, more off stream. hobbies and doing content I actually liked it because I realized um because I realized I wasn't doing content that I liked I, I got so addicted to apex and playing with friends that I realized that I wasn't doing what I wanted to do when I streamed so that's why in December I had started Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I had originally came in with the idea of streaming, of wanting to have fun with everyone, showing everyone that, you know, you can have a good time no matter what game you play, even if you're bad or even if you're playing with someone bad, right? Um, and all that stuff. So, like, 
I wanted to do a lot of things. Um, show people that you can start from not knowing anything to quickly learning something completely new. Like, I'm going to take on Blender for the first time. Um, I'm hoping later today I can start Blender. <laughs> But yeah, like even with art, right? I started streaming art with zero knowledge on how to do digital art and it's been a year and this is where I've been. So it's kind of like, you know, um, understanding to pace yourself because I always talk about pacing myself, not giving myself too many like overwhelming goals and stuff. Um, yeah, I know Blender is complex. Uh, so yeah, that's what I've been trying to do the whole December. And I've just been focusing on that and trying to keep the um, consistency with that. And that's why in January, I wanted to start my podcast because this is the biggest thing that's been in the plans that I've never, I have not done. It's been on my mind. I have so much content planned for this. Actually, it's insane. Like I have so many people I want to bring on, but I don't want to overwhelm myself on all the people at the same time of doing all the other stuff I want to do so um, I'm slowly like doing all that pacing myself and still keeping a good mental that's kind of like what I spent the whole December doing for myself and it worked um, because I came in with the new idea of looking through a new lens but understanding everything that has happened before can make me better if that makes sense um, so like instead of just moving on from the sad stuff is me understanding like all the sad stuff has happened and the best thing I can do is just do better like um, don't let it happen again to myself um, don't let it stop me from doing stuff like this and I felt like one of the biggest things that made me realize that was like originally I was supposed to do this podcast episode last week but last week I had a power outage on New Year's Eve and it was my power was out for four days um, and I had so many things planned for last week actually and it's kind of like uh, you know how they say things happen for a reason so I felt like all that happened to kind of test if all everything that I did in December to kind of build habits for myself if that would really work because then it, it would have felt like a setback if I let that hurt me, you know? And um, I feel like I'm at a very good mental where I understand I if things are out of my control, it is okay. Um, yeah, things can be frustrating. It's okay to like uh, be upset for like the moment, but not forever. Because if it's out of your control, just move on, right? And just do what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of the outlook I want to do this year. And I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm pretty excited to do this podcast and show everyone kind of like all the stuff I have planned. Um, I have a lot of game shows I want to do. Um, it's like a game show with the person that I, I'm streaming with. And next week, I'm going to bring on my VTuber mom. Um, she's one of my favorite people and one of the people that inspires me a lot too. I think she's like so extraordinary and I'm so glad I chose her to be my um, first mom. Hmm? Um, I didn't think I'd meet someone so funny like her <laughs> and similar to me in a sense. Um, hmm. And then we're going to play a lot of games on there. We're going to draw. Um, we're also going to take doodle requests too on those streams. Um, I'm trying to think of what else that I have planned too for these uh, podcasts. Um, we're going to talk about a lot of random things. We're going to have a random topic generator. Um, we're going to have uh, interactive things with chat. Um, it's going to be really fun. It's going to be like a podcast, but also like a fun event. That's what I wanted Doodles and Thoughts to be like. That way, um, it's like a discussion, right? But we're also having fun on the side. Mm-hmm. So those are, those are my goals this year for Doodles and Thoughts, is to um, have fun, uh, bring on guests, learn about people. I love learning about people. Um, I think everyone is so, like every, even like strangers that I meet, there's so many people, like if, maybe I'll make a redeem for it. Um, like, uh, 
I've met so many people that I just think are so amazing and a lot of people don't understand how really amazing they are um, just because they think what they do is pretty basic, right? Um, so yeah, I have a lot of people I want to bring on and show you guys. I also want to do one where I do bring on some regulars too, just so we can talk and like vibe, right? Because I think it's really cool to get to know everyone a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's what I had planned. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have planned for Duo's Nuts. For now, that's all I have. I am going to have some streams where I'm alone. And then, um, most of them are going to be with guests. Um, let's see. And then a lot of the doodles I want to do on Doodles and Thoughts, I want them to be simple doodles. Um, I'm going to have a channel in my Discord, so if anyone wants to like have a doodle request, you can put it in there. That way, um, say we can draw it on stream and um, drop it in there, and then maybe make like cute little things. Oh my god, I want to make like strawberries and like cups and stuff. Just <laughs> getting my brain going. But yeah, that's where, those are all my thoughts and stuff for doodles and thoughts. Um, so I'm hoping I can accomplish all the stuff I want to do with this uh, podcast, um, which is mainly having fun, drawing with friends, being creative. Um, what is that word? I'm trying to think of that word that I like to use. Um, it's not productive, but it's like mm, being inspired. That's what I want this to be. Having continuous inspiration and having drive to do more of what you like to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh God. But yeah, I think that's all I have for the first podcast. Hi, Tap Out. Thank you guys for listening. I hope I uh, hope this year goes really good since I kind of have an idea of how my first year was, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad to bring on so many guests for you guys to see, to have fun with, to meet, to learn about. I can't wait to learn about so many people. I also want to bring on some strangers too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah. How's it going? Oh, it's going good. Um, thank you, thank you. I'm also gonna switch over to just chatty. It is it was it an emotional roller coaster? Actually, I'm gonna ask you guys. Do you guys have any questions for me in chat about the podcast? I don't talk about a lot of weird things. Not weird things, but a lot of crazy things. I didn't think a lot of things that happened to me happened, would have happened. I'm like really grateful that everything did happen. Um, even though a lot of the bad things happened, I l took it as a lesson to learn. Because again, I took my first year of streaming as it's gonna be the hardest year and the year where I will understand what I want to do and how to be better as a streamer. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm glad. Hmm. Hmm. Um, the podcast is going to be two times a month. Um, I'm going to have to announce the dates because I want to um, cater this podcast around the guest times because I, I know a lot of them are busy and stuff so we kind of like I let them know my free time and they let me know theirs um, so I'll announce it a week ahead so you guys know what time it will be um, hmm. I'm trying to think uh, yeah because I have some uh, my mom she lives in Malaysia so we're a big time difference away since I'm PST, but our podcast will be around this time, um, three o'clock for sure. I just woke up late today. <laughs> and then uh, my next one, the third um, guest, the second guest, is going to be my friend Now. I love Now so much. Um, now is a slime, and uh, Now is one of my first friends I met in the VTubing community. And even though we, we have this kind of friendship where it's kind of like, uh, I don't know how to understand it. You know those friendships where like, you don't really have to talk, but you know you guys love each other so goddamn much, yo. That's what we have. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited to bring them on. They, they help me a lot through a lot of things. Um, yeah, they help me through a lot of things. Um, we've been through a lot. Uh, we died on Minecraft together many times. <laughs> yeah and then um i'm gonna bring melly on stream 
I want to bring Ruri on stream. I want to bring uh, my friend Dev on stream. I want to bring... Oh, there's so many people I want to bring. But these people are really cool. Like, Dev really loves D&D. &D, and he, he kind of made me um, understand how cool voice acting was. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, I think a lot of people have showed me a lot of things that I think are really cool on. I definitely want to bring like other people like Maddie on. Um, oh God, but that has to be like in the third quarter of the podcast. Yeah. Oh my God. I love D&D too. Oh yeah. Also, we're going to do a thing called... Um, okay, I want to do a thing on stream where it's called Build a Bitch, where we all... We all can build a character together. We all build a D and D character together, or we all build a character in general together on stream. And um, I will, I will try my best to act out as that character. If it's, yeah, I will try my best to act out as that character too. In the end, that's what I want to do for um, a stream event as well. I have a lot of things planned for stream. I'm pretty excited. Um, I just hope um, everyone's excited too, and we'll have fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are my plans for this year with stream. Um, I also want to grow the community bigger. Um, I think after the whole December and uh, meeting the Yu Yu community, you guys have really inspired me with like um, wanting to build a community. I've never felt a rush of so many kind people at once. <laughs> Thank you guys. Usually it's like a few, right? Every like couple of months, month or so. Mm -hmm. I bought a lot of PC games and oh my god, did you guys get Solasta? <laughs> did you guys get Solasta? I have Solasta. I think it's a four player game. Oh no! My tablet shut off. Hold on. <laughs> it got disconnected from the PC. One second. Oh, it is? Oh, I had one playthrough of it. How was yours playthrough? Oh, yeah. So, guys, thank you for joining the podcast. Okay, I'm just, just, I'm just switching just chatting, okay? And then we can talk and stuff. Uh, let's see. My title today is going to be Badger, 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 Badger. Mushroom, snake. <laughs> Just chatting. Okay, guys. Uh, so today, you guys want to know what I planned? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanted to play. Uh, do you guys? <sighs> Wait, I wanna play Yu-Gi-Oh. I have to say that for tomorrow. <laughs> I wanna play Elden Ring. Do you guys have Dead by Daylight actually? Mm, I don't know what I want to do. What should I do? So I was debating if I wanted to play like Elden Ring or if I wanted to play um 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 Where's my Steam? What was it? Wow, I don't have that many games downloaded guys. Is it really cross compatibility? Do you guys want to play Elden Ring? Wait, can we all play Elden Ring together? Or could only one person join on Elden Ring? I don't know. You gotta ask. Uh, I, I don't know, man. Let me Google this. Let me... Yeah, let's Google this. Um, we'll go to this one. And then let me turn on um, sound alerts since uh, we're done.